are much brighter, even if we are now some people in the room. If you like climb here, this is this polished marble or marmor uh, uh, reflection style that we have here. This was the aesthetic in the early 80s that the drums should sound a bit sharper in the high frequencies. We have today a different drum sound, usually pretty intimate, or also some recent bands like to go with big rooms. Again, so I have often also bands here to have a look at the house, uh, deciding if they want to record. And they say, oh, we just come from a library where we record it, or from a church where they take the natural sound and um, cannot add as many effects afterwards. This is in a neutral studio, of course, always better. So you have usually where I stand the position for the drummer, looking over to the, to the uh, control room with the gear. As you can see already from here, or the guys at the window, it's still the same old desk from the uh, 80s that they kept. SSL 4000E is nice to have, which is a legend, but not in use in so many studios anymore as we all work digital usually. But there in the back, the bass, or usually guitar or bass booth that the drummer could sit here and play, and simultaneously have the bass player play together are a bit separate. Um, also, the, with the, in here, in this room, we have no 90 degree angles. Even the doors, if you look, they fall out some degrees. Or if you stand there at this door, you can follow, fall also out of the room or fall here a bit in the room to avoid this angle to have no flattering. Pretty, pretty much. Mm. So we have like, we had acoustic set here with a guitar sitting and playing. That's almost no reflection at all in the room, aside from the window set. But here, especially in the corner, very dry. That's maybe if the others want to have a look. <laughs> yes. Thank you.